basically like, like for many many millenniums there's been this like conflict between two groups throughout the society on the one side it's like this authoritarian monoculture very hierarchical in nature on the opposite side is counterculture I think any separatist movement any fight for independence that is counterculture is a reaction to this globalizing monopolizing use of force around the entire globe and as we're going into the future, the situation is becoming more and more untenable. So what happens is you start to see these forces more polarised, even more. And that happens to the states and the governments become more and more totalitarian. They increase their surveillance. They step up their game. And, and it's, the situation is only going to get more and more, like travel restrictions are going to go up. You know, surveillance is going to go up. The police state is going to go up. Any tool which takes the power out of those people to, to limit uh, our, our freedom and our, uh, the ability of good people, like normal people, to express themselves creatively is a good tool in my book. People say, oh, Bitcoin enables money laundering or crime. Man, the rich people already have these tools. They already launder their money. Like, we're just giving it to normal people, you know? Like when you have the shit that happens in Cyprus where uh, $100,000, like 100,000 euros, sorry, they're going to take a, a 30% haircut and use it to bail out banks. And that's that's a hundred thousand normal family that works for 10 years. And the Russian oligarchs uh, have already moved their money out. It's just normal people now who are stuck there. Now we give them a tool. Look, you can launder your money as well. Or that you can travel like anywhere in the world without having to pay money to scammy companies that take a huge amount of fees for just pressing some numbers and changing your money. Or that you can buy drugs on internet, direct from producers to your home. And you don't, in that way you don't empower gangs and criminal gangsters who, like, no, it's, tr it's like, it's serious. The, the government is, is fighting this war on drugs, is killing and murdering loads of people. It's like when you put pressure on one part of the earth, it just spills out somewhere else. And all these gangsters is not caused by the drugs existing. It's caused by, it's caused by the fact that they have, there's cartels and, and criminals who are, who are peddling the drugs. So now you offer a tool for people to get around that. Or, or even speech. Like making a payment to someone is a form of speech. Like when I give money to someone, I say, okay, I like what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. If I'm forced to keep paying money to scammy financial companies or to pay taxes to fund wars, I'm consenting to things that I think are wrong. You know? It's like... Yeah, it's like uh, it's like uh, you know you know uh, WordPress. They they're they're a tool for people to to put to get a blog to write about things on the internet. And a lot of people say, oh, we don't need money, blah blah." But those people are living in a dream world. Like this is the world we've got. I'm not thinking of any utopias. I'm just looking around. What are the problems that we can fix? Let's move forward. If you're thinking already in terms of utopias or old communist and Marxist ideas, you're, you're, talking, you're reading books from 100 years ago. We're living in 2013. Like we have 3D printers, international travel. You know, you can launder money using Bitcoin. Like things have changed really seriously. It's time to reevaluate what you're thinking. It's not the same thing in the past with kings and queens. You know. Uh, yeah, WordPress is like a tool for you to put speech on the internet, but to get WordPress accounts, you have to use PayPal or Visa or MasterCard, you know. And uh, there's a problem with internet payments. They're owned by monopolies, and they use that monopoly to censor things they don't like. WikiLeaks had their service shut down because of the US Department of Justice putting pressure on them. Their lifeline was Bitcoin during that period of time, you know. And WordPress even wrote recently that PayPal the loan box access from over 60 different countries, some because of uh, fraud rates, some for political reasons, and some because for other reasons, you know, like Ethiopia or Kenya. These are people like, and they, it's not the same as us where you get credit cards so easily. It's much more difficult for them. But they're now shut out of the world. I have a friend in Iran who contributes an enormous amount to free software. But because of one politician attacking another politician, US and Iran, he suffers, normal people suffer. That's wrong, you know? Or Mega Upload recently, they had, the FBI came and seized their asset. Mega Upload is a site to upload files to the internet to share with people. And there are some powerful industries in the US who don't like that. They say it's bad because, you know, people should not be able to share speech freely on the internet or media freely. It should be restricted. But, 
but Mega uploaded a site where you could upload files, and they came and shut it down. They didn't have a case. They seized their assets. They shut down their payment options. Right. Okay, they didn't have a case. Now they're back with Mega, and it's first. And you pay, you can pay with Bitcoin. It's the first time you can buy encrypted file storage on the internet using on anonymous digital currency. That's fucking crazy. I would not have imagined that five years ago. I would have laughed at you. That's. You know, and thanks very much, Amir. We leave it there. Thanks so ah, much yeah. for your passionate <laughs> speech, and we will have more time to expand that. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And next we have Yvonne. Yvonne, I, I think it's, it's a very interesting.